Welcome back, everybody, to the single-player world. Before we get going any further, I want to just say thank you to all of you guys for the crazy support we've been receiving on our videos, the likes, the comments, the suggestions. They are very important to making this world a world on YouTube, a series, you know? Something where you guys affect the world, I affect the world. We get a pretty world, and I think we're doing that pretty well right now. So, before we get going outside, there is some crazy stuff out here that I need to show you. But bear in mind, this is probably going to be controversial. You guys are probably going to love it. You're probably going to hate it. I know from my stream that there are going to be mixed emotions and stuff I've done. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a lot of people who are going to be being two minds about this. So let me just quickly start off by saying the paths in the city. Actually, let's go here. Let's go around this way. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. The paths in the city and the streets in the city are very, very similar. And I received a comment in the last video. Now, here goes, speaking about comments changing the world. Uh, saying that, basically, they are very, very similar, and uh, to be honest, as we've been going, I've kind of, I expected it to to become more and more obvious that they were separate, but I gotta admit, that, that did actually apply to this, there's, there's a very distinct, there's not a very distinct difference between the, the pavement and the road. So, what we've decided to do is, I've decided to try a few ideas, and perhaps, this is where, of course, if you guys have got a better idea than this, you guys will be able to come in. I've tried a few things, for instance, just changing the blocks out, trying to add in a few little pieces to separate them, which did help. Uh, but I think the thing that helped the most, and this is where it might be a weird one, is trying out different colors. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. What the heck? You've got clay, bricks, and granite. That is crazy. Why the heck are you doing that? Uh, but believe me, I think it, it looks pretty cool from above. Just watch this over here. Oh man, what is going on there? We've lost a block. From above, I think this is actually starting to look alright. I've also gone ahead and changed these for more square blocks, so that it makes it a little bit more obvious that it's a pavement. Honestly, it's an improvement. It definitely is an improvement in terms of distinguishing pavement from street. We've got that right. But the thing is, I'm not still convinced on the colours of the blocks. Now, of course, we're not going to do this the whole way. The whole way, that would be too, too much. So, if you've got a really cool idea, I'd love to hear it. Or just any, any thoughts on that would be really, really cool. Uh, why can't I, f oh, I don't have my, my stuff on me. That could have been interesting. <laughs> uh, that would have been very interesting. I've only done it to the one side right now, so we can give it a little bit of a, a test, and if we got more cool things, we can add them in here. But I think it'll work quite well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, besides that, we've got a lot of cool work done. Let me go around this way, over here, like this, and I'll show you. So, first of all, uh, we've expanded out this way. This is a pretty cool thing, and I know what you're thinking. Well, that's a big square, well, a big rectangle there, flat and boring, but it, it's going to be more than that in the future. Basically, the idea is I've gone ahead and made different heights. You can see that one's lower than that one, and we're just making a very basic spot for us to start building on. There's still a lot of stuff we have to add in here. There's a lot of things we have to add in there, but that's just a start. So we've got the the basic canvas, I guess, for us to, to work on. That's, that's basically the idea we're going for. So I thought I'd let you guys in on this little piece. Then, of course, we're going to go all the way here. We've got more stuff to do here. We've got a lot of things to do. And this uh, city's starting to become enormous. But today, we've got another cool thing. Because uh, I've done more planning, of course. Planning is key. And uh, what we've got here is I've filled up this wall a little bit more. It's looking boring. I understand. That's the way we start. And I trust, like, trust me. This is going to be amazing by the time we're done with it. Uh, basically, we've just gone and filled in the spots so that we can work, we can do our stuff around here. We can't get everything working as we go. That's just impossible to get it to look good. So right now, I've just laid out a pretty basic plan, some pretty basic stairs going up here. And the idea of this is we're gonna be able to look out over this way, look down onto the market area down here. There'll be more of a market over here. It's just making it different heights and different levels. You can look out this way and over here, I want this to be open. So it, it kind of just creates different feelings as you walk through here, different viewpoints. Honestly, I think that'll be a really cool thing, a really good base for us to start with, where we can add in a few more things around the place, just detail this. Of course, that needs a lot of work. It's a big flat wall. What I'm thinking will be kind of cool is from down here, if we have a look up this way, having one of these sorts of buildings just on the side somewhere, maybe here. I think there is a bit too much, to be honest, but maybe one over here, if we can get it in, just a small one. I don't know what it will be, but that could look really cool. So as you walk up here, you'll see eventually what will be the palace over there, and over here will be some more buildings. I think that will be really awesome to do. The build is certainly coming along. Look at this. As we're walking through here, get ready. Brace yourself just keeps going. 
So I've definitely done a few things, you can tell. There's a little bit of decorating, a bit more shaping, but it's slowly starting to take shape and still starting to, well, creating its own form, really. That's what it's slowly starting to do. And that is a really cool thing. So pretty much what we've done is I've gone ahead, added a few little things over here. For instance, this, this little piece here, which is a really cool thing. I've picked up on this trick recently where instead of just putting a railing on the top, which we haven't even done yet, to be completely honest, having that longer piece down there makes it look like a much more detailed railing. You see, this is all it really looks like currently at the top. And, I mean, this is probably going to still change. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're working on the front. We're working on this piece today. Just picture out how pretty it'll look. That's all we, we're really trying to do. Just make this front piece pretty, and then we'll move on to the next piece. So, right there, that looks like it's a fairly large well detailed we can even add more detail to it as well uh railing but it really isn't a railing at all it's just a really neat way of making it look a little bit larger from this perspective from the other perspective it'll have a completely different feel and that's a really cool thing so over here this is the the new shop that we're going to add in i'm not too sure what shop it's going to be but i think it'll be a pretty cool shop nonetheless and i think that will be a really cool size for it as well i'm going to hang these pieces off i'm not too sure whether or not we want these Grounded over here. In fact, where does this come if we ground it? Let's just quickly double check this out over there. That'll yeah, that's a bit too narrow. Although it could look kind of cool with the, it coming over the edge, but I think that's a bit too narrow. Well, that's the wrong one. Fantastic. We'll get rid of that there. And then the last thing. This is this is a point I was I was gonna do this before and I, I thought it would be a really good point to make. So looking at this, obviously this side we have to do quite a bit of stuff with it. It hasn't really been touched. But over here, I think we've got a bit further and a bit closer to getting this piece done. And when you look at this wall, like just, just looking at it, it looks very, very plain over there. That's all got some pretty cool detail, cool stuff going on all the way around there. But this is a big, flat, boring piece. Now, of course, you could just say, how about you just add a few textures to it? Probably a cool idea, to be completely honest. But I think a cooler idea would be to bump this in one block. I think that'll make a nice bit of depth. Because not only was that boring, it was also very flat. And in fact, what would be cool is if we could have a window here. But a window, I think, might be a little bit too far from what we are at right now. So perhaps just something... Oh, that's actually cool. That was a mistake. Let's try that out right now. Sometimes mistakes work very, very well for you. So let's, let's just give that a go. I was actually planning on this being the other direction. But let's check that out. Yeah, you see something like that, a little bit of, I don't know what it is, but, but it's a little bit of detail for the wall, and I think that works really well. In fact, doing something like this uh, along the side here may very well add something else to it as well. Yeah, in fact, let's, let's give this a go. This could be a, a cool little place to make a little bit of a design that could be pretty useful to us in the future, actually. We could use this for a few more things. So let's do that. We'll hop up here. Can I? There we go. No. Working with half slabs is so difficult. Half blocks in general. Just a very difficult thing to know where you're at. There we go. Something like that, perhaps. And maybe some of these. And let's see how this looks. It might, might turn out well. might turn out absolutely terrible. But it's always these sorts of things that end up being a cool little experiment for you. So we'll go around this way and... Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe changing up these to the spruce would be good. And by the way, there's, I don't know why, but for some reason this always appears in comments and stuff about mixing wood types. And I'm not too sure where this came around. Uh, but honestly, there's there's a little bit of a thing here. Uh, for some reason, people have got a rule that says, do not, they say, do not use multiple types of wood. And in my opinion, that's a silly idea. It's uh, The rules rules are cool in the beginning, but really that's, I mean, that, maybe that works for some people. But honestly... <laughs> Mix wood if you can. If you can get it right, do it. Oh man, we are out of spruce. Look at that. Look how low we are running over here on all of the, the woods. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to go grab some spruce. But let's just double check how that was looking. Because it didn't actually have a very good look. I thought just adding a bit of spruce there would work very well for us. So go up right around there. That's too much to the left. That's alright. We'll get there. We'll get there in time. Right around here. It's a good bit of detail. In fact, you know what will work actually, I think, better than this. Because I think maybe the wood is a little bit too much. Adding in maybe some of this over here, over there, and then something like that there. There we go. <laughs> we didn't we didn't even need the wood. That is a lot better. And that actually looks interesting. Look at that. If we step back a little bit more, it's not meant to be a thing that draws your attention. In fact, if you just looked here, it would look kind of boring. But as soon as you, you try and identify what's going on in this wall, what makes this wall a bit more interesting, that'll obviously be the thing. Just this weird... 
weird little piece on the wall. I don't know what you would call it, but it, it's something that's very important to make things like this a little bit more interesting, like what we've got there. The next part of this, of course, will be getting this shop in. And I'm probably not going to go all the way back with the shop. I don't know how far we'll do it. But I think when we get at least the front piece in so we can call this area here complete and ready to go on to the next stage, I think that looks really awesome. And by the way, when we're up there next, I've got a pretty cool view to show you guys. There's one more thing that I want to add to this. So first of all, this is looking pretty good. I've done a few things here. I couldn't really resist, so I did say I wasn't going to do the full thing. I did a large majority of the shape, at least, of it on the other side as well. Sometimes you just get a little bit carried away, but... The real thing for me right now that is at least sticking out is currently there's a fairly straight line of these things there, there, and oh, oh my mouse just shot off. There we go, and those ones there. But I feel like this is lacking a little bit of detail, a little bit of shape, and what I think would look really good, and what I think is a great idea, in fact, is to try and make it a little bit different in the middle here. So what I was thinking would work is a bit of a bridge, something similar to what we have down there, but where the water could probably be coming from a single fountain over here, which will be the water source of this little waterfall. And not only that, it'll also look pretty good, I think. So let's let's give this a go. First of all, we need a good shape. And of course, that over there, I think, could come up one more block. And then we'll have a pretty nice shape over here if we can get that to work for us. Let's put these on our offhand. And also, by the way, by the way, while we're here, this is the this is the weird shape I've gone for. I decided over here. When we walk up these stairs, if we had the building coming all the way here, it would actually almost make sense to have come off the stairs right over here because this is all dead space. So what I decided was a good idea is maybe just st uh, sticking this one in a little bit. So this is actually a half a roof or a part of a roof and then the roof goes back there. Of course, I'd just fall off like that, wouldn't I? Right, let's get back up there. But that, basically, I just thought it would be cool, first of all, for making the building a little bit more interesting. And not only that, also just making it it fit in a little bit better than what it does originally so we'll get that up there let's get back up perfect so there's there's just a bit of my thought process at least with this i think it'll work quite well we have to just get that piece all together so around here let's get back to the bridge i think this will be a fairly decent height in fact maybe even this over here i think would probably have to be the same height the whole way yeah like that that'll be good i think so if we get that in there we'll put these down here and we'll just do that there. So, from the bottom, this will be the moment of truth. And this is just some of the things I do just to get the shape right. Look at that, already. It's actually adding a bit of extra color as well to that. That's perfect, that's ideal actually. So what we need to do next for that, of course, is get a, a good railing and good details on it overall. So once we've got this, I think we will actually have this whole thing over here, more or less, the whole way across. I know it sounds kind of weird, uh, but I think it'll be kind of cool to just have it have it push up and then go down. So don't think of this level as the level we're going to be walking on, because that's going to probably change. It's just a matter of holding the place and getting stuff planned out for us. So we don't have to think about a lot of stuff when we build. That's actually a pretty cool a pretty cool thing I think that uh, that helps a lot is being able to just do stuff like that. Don't think of everything. Just kind of make ways of making making notes for yourself for the future and have i really run out of slabs we appear to have run out of slabs but luckily we've got the the storage right near us over here which is is perfect two episodes ago i think or three episodes ago we got this sorted and that's been that's been a really really good thing it's been saving us a lot of time so do we have any of them in here no and we go through these things crazy crazy fast All right so if we if we can just quickly grab ourselves Let's go... I mean, that's more than enough. Keep it on a... Keep it on a three. Perfect. Wonderful. All right. So, this will be the, the crowning... I think the crown of this one, I guess, of this build. Is this little piece over here. Kind of stepping up in the middle. Yeah. I think it definitely will. And also, I said I was going to show you a pretty cool view. Look at this. From up the top here. It, in my opinion, looks pretty cool. So, if we go down here, go over here. You start to see... Little pieces of the city in the distance coming up. The, the the ship, the sails, the flags, that little piece over there, the little watchtower kind of thing. I guess it's not really a watchtower, more of a, a lighthouse sort of thing on the docks. It looks so cool. And then picture when we go up another level, and then up another level. Uh, you can tell exactly that the castle, I mean, if, if we're at this level right now, the castle might start pretty much at this level, a little bit lower, but further back there. Uh, picture it from all the way back that way, how tall this thing is going to be. It's probably going to sit fairly large, fairly tall, but that's going to be cool. I think it'll be a, an interesting build nonetheless. 
I'm I'm really excited for it. I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty excited for that that uh, palace build. And I think you guys are gonna be too. I, I think if there's if there's a few things that I get asked a lot, and to be to do a palace, that's definitely on that list. <laughs> so we will have a pretty cool one. Trust me, it's gonna be awesome. All right. So how are these looking? A little bit weird from this side. That's that is a little bit of a problem. And this is also getting annoyingly short there. Okay, how do we improve this? Perhaps. Putting something on top of these, like uh, a thing like this, could work quite well for these. Like that. Leave that one off. And then over here, we can we can start with these ones. And I, I got these, in fact, the 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 spruce rails, or the spruce uh, fence posts for this part here. And really, fence posts, I don't normally use as a, as a barrier in general. I think they, they're cool enough for these sorts of things, but they honestly work a lot better just for general detailing, in my opinion. So, we're going to do that sort of stuff here. Just general detailing with them, which will end up being its own fence post like that. Look at that. Something like that. And these two little pieces off the end, let's check what we can do with them. Yeah. Yeah. Very simple, but I think it'll work quite well for us. What we're going to do very quickly is sleep, and then we'll come back to this. And there you have it. Looking, I think, very, very good. I've done a little bit of stuff. I've pushed it up a little bit there. Not too, too much from where we left off. But I, I think it was some pretty cool... Pretty cool looking... A pretty cool looking crown, I guess, as I say, to this piece here. Let's let's just finish off with a few of these tree pieces here. Like this over here. And some bushes up around this way. We can also work in some of that. Let's just get some of these in. In fact, the spruce are actually some of my favorite ones in this part. Just because they look really good when you just hang them up in the top. Very, very dark. I love that. I love that look of them. I don't know what it is. There's just something really cool about it. So we'll get that in there. Why Why is this an unplaced... There we go. Okay, cool. So how does this look from all the way back this way? I don't know why. My mouse is doing some pretty crazy things. There we go. That's all right. That's, it's very strange. But yeah, that's it. I think that looks fantastic. I think it looks perfect. There is actually one little piece missing over there. But we'll get to that. But overall, I think this is a successful build, and I really do love this area. I think this is a good starting point for us to go and take the next stage. I'm sure you guys remember when we were back, all the way back this way, when we just created this very basic ground. It kind of looked pretty boring, but when we got it all up and running and it looked amazing after a few days, I think you guys started to believe in it. I, I hope this is the same thing again. I think we can get this part here to be the same sort of thing where it looks kind of boring at the top there. There's nothing really too much going on. We'll get some stuff up there and I think it's going to look really, really cool. So thank you very, very much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, if you guys have got any suggestions or anything, I appreciate when you guys let me know. So thank you very, very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.